For today's Tech Monday video, I am gonna show you a very strange Final Cut Pro audio issue and how to fix it. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. I just got finished shooting over two hours of behind the scenes footage of this studio showing you the setup and all of that stuff. So I brought the footage into Final Cut Pro. The problem that I ran into though is more simple and it has to do with audio. Specifically, if I cut a segment and say I want it, you know what, let me just show you. Okay, so check out this timeline right here. I'm talking about the studio, I'm walking back in there, and you've got your audio right here, obviously, which you can separate out, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep the audio with the clip. So let's say now I want to cut to a closer shot with the same footage, right? I want to use the blade tool, which is what you do in Final Cut. I'm going to hit B for blade. So the problem comes into play when I want to alter or move where that cut is going to be. Let's say I want to come in earlier to the close-up. So I'll hover the mouse right over where the cut is. And if I can move it here, let's say I move it here. Now the close-up comes in here. You see that? But do you hear that clicking sound? Listen. So right here, I've got a new. So right here, I've got a new. I'll point to it when it clicks. Listen up. So right here, I've got a new editing. You hear that? It's so annoying, but I did find a fix for it. I don't know if this is, you know, <laughs> legit kosher supposed to, to do it this way, but it solves the problem and allows me to move on. Let me show you what I do. I go to my next out point. Let's say it's here. And this is brand new for the studio. Boom. I'm going to cut here with the blade tool and we can get rid of that gap. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead just to show you the difference and reset that. So here's what I've got. Wide shot, close up, wide. Wide, close up, wide. And if I play it back, you'll still hear that annoying click sound right here. Listen up. So right here, I've got a new editing station. So here's the secret and here's what I do. I take the audio inside this clip here and I drag the slider all the way down to nothing. I then double click on this clip here hover over and drag this audio to here. Now, if I go and play it back, so right here I've got a, it's perfect, you hear that? You can't hear it anymore, it's gone. So right here I've got a new editing, and I can double click and move that back in. It definitely looks weird, and I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way, but I don't know of any other way to fix that problem, other than probably some kind of weird compound clip trickery. I don't know. I don't care. I just want software to work. I don't know why that's so difficult in 2023, but this will fix the problem. Anyhow, that's all for today. It's a short Tech Monday, but this will solve that strange audio pop problem in Final Cut Pro when you blade between two clips and then say you decide to move that to somewhere else because you change your mind, right? You can use this tip to get rid of that popping it definitely works. Hopefully Apple will fix this bug or improve this audio process with yet another update or another version. Who knows? I'm not holding my breath at all anymore. Anyhow, good luck to all of the editors out there. You are awesome. In the meantime, I'll catch you in the next video.